here in the School of Physics at Georgia Tech, we're interested in how organisms manage to move around in complex environments. One component that allows animals to move so well is that they have limbs and legs which can be multifunctional. They can allow the animal to climb over ledges. They can allow the animals to sprint rapidly over hard ground, to paddle through soft ground, and even potentially kick through fluids. So we're interested in exploring how uh, limbs can enable robots to move around with the agility and mobility that some animals with limbs have. The idea is to begin to develop a pterodynamics equivalent to aero and hydrodynamics, which will allow us to predict mobility of devices in these complex environments. The robot that we created uh, is based on a simple toy robot. And then we took its legs off and replaced those with legs that we 3D printed and we found that legs with a positive curvature, such that the open part of a C is pointing upward, uh, worked on average better than legs with a negative curvature, producing more thrust force as well as more lift force. We took these force relationships that we measured and we input them into a special kind of simulation called a multi-body dynamic simulation. We found that when we put the force relationships into the simulation, we could predict the robot speed to a few percent over a pretty wide range of conditions of leg geometry and, and granular material. We think that for roboticists and engineers who are interested to design vehicles that can move on loose granular material, they can immediately begin to optimize limb shapes and limb trajectories of small robots. In a real search and rescue robot, the type of terrain that this robot will encounter is not even necessarily granular material. But we think that one component could be the type of loose material which robots are stymied on and which animals can often navigate so well. And we think that this kind of pterodynamics of granular material will allow the design of devices with better performance than what's currently available.